impressive design. What are you doing here? The piano is new. You shouldn't be here. I thought the hotel was welcome to everyone. It's for people who seek redemption. And from what Charlie told me, that's not on your priority list. She'd be correct. I was hoping to run into Alistair here. He and I are due for another chat. Is he at the hotel? No. Do you know where I can find him? I don't know. Uh... Why would you even come this late? It's nearly midnight. He's a very difficult man to contact. A late night visit to the hotel was just another idea to possibly find him. How did you even get in? The door was locked. It was not. Ugh. Look, he's not here, I don't know when he comes back, and I want to go back to bed. So do me a favor and leave. What would Charlie say if she saw you kicking me out? She knows you don't want redemption. As far as I know, she'd want you to leave too. I suppose your judgment is fair. I will leave. But while I'm here, I'd like to speak with you. Forget it. I'm not doing one of these sessions of yours right now. Why not? You can't be serious. It's late, I'm tired, I'm practically in my damn underwear, and you're an uninvited guest. I'm aware that our circumstances could be better, but I came all this way. Surely you could spare some of your time for me. I said no, asshole. You can talk with me when it's not like this. What will you do if I don't want to go? You really want to find out? I'm more than happy to show you the exit by force. Come now. We can reach a conclusion without the need for violence. What is so hard for you to understand? The conclusion is that you get out. And I'm not disagreeing with you. I simply want to ask you some questions. There's no reason to escalate anything. After we talk, I will leave. No fighting, no tricks. How many questions? Just a handful. I won't take too much of your time. And you'll go if I answer your questions? You have my word. <sighs> Let's get this over with. I greatly appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, yeah. So... You're an angel. Yeah, I figured you'd find out eventually. Did Charlie tell you? No, actually. It was Husk who told me. But that's besides the point. There's so much to learn from this new information. I'm not going to be some lab rat for you if that's what you're thinking. Oh, absolutely not. I never had such intentions. But you have to understand how surprised I was to learn about your true self. So what's your point? This opened doors and opportunities I never thought possible. How well do you remember heaven? I know plenty enough, but don't sell yourself the idea that it's paradise. It's not. Hmm. So, you do not wish to return? No. I'd choose to stay here every time. Could you elaborate further as to why? I mean, I have Charlie and freedom. I couldn't ask for more. I see. When Charlie journeyed to heaven for the arranged meeting, did you accompany her or stay behind? I went with her, though I wasn't exactly thrilled to go. Was it through volunteering, or were you requested to join her? She wanted me to go with her. I didn't want to go back, but I wanted to support Charlie and her dream. Interesting. Why the reluctance to return? It's a long story. All you need to know is that I knew what heaven was really like, and its true nature. It's not the perfect afterlife many people say it is. The best way I can describe it is... a fake utopia. Tell me more. People who die and go to heaven live in a place that seems like the perfect paradise. They'll go on living forever and be happy. But underneath the surface of false joy, it's a convoluted mess of corruption and control. 
angels that run heaven are in charge of everything and rule with an iron fist. There's no arguing with them or changing their minds. People are only allowed to live by the ruling of angels' laws. Any deviation is shut down and covered up. Almost like the opposite of hell. Here, everything is chaotic and near-apocalyptic. No one but Lucifer is really in charge, and... But then... Hmm... Was Charlie aware of these details when visiting heaven? No. Did you not warn her ahead of time? I... I was in a difficult spot. I couldn't. I wanted to, but... Go on. Charlie didn't know... what I was. Why would you keep something like this a secret from her? I... was once an exorcist. And I'm ashamed of it now. Really? I didn't tell Charlie because I knew it would break her heart. I had blood on my hands and I couldn't say anything to justify myself. So, how did you end up in hell? And subsequently meet Charlie? Spare no details. It was during an extermination. I was doing my part. But something inside me changed that day. I had killed thousands of them before, but I always had this feeling that I was doing something wrong. I remember I tried justifying myself by reminding myself that these people were monsters who deserved to suffer and die. But that feeling of doing wrong always nagged at me deep down. I did what I was told and never thought about what I was feeling as I... But I think those feelings finally got to me when I took off my helmet. I saw with my own two eyes what I was doing, and... Seeing them so defenseless and afraid, unable to run or fight, that I was supposed to just kill them. For once, I didn't see myself as a soldier or exorcist. This wasn't killing. This was murder. I'm sorry if that sounds weird don't know if it was to bring myself closure or to prove I had a shred of humanity left by showing mercy, but I let one of them go, and that was what did it. I had my eyes slashed out, my wings severed, and my halo taken away, and I was left to rot in the same streets where I had murdered so many. And the princess? I dragged my broken body back into an alley to try and recover. My head was spinning, and I didn't know what would happen next. Along the way, I stripped off my armor. If anyone saw me with it, I knew I'd be torn to shreds, or worse. As I did my best to stay conscious and ignore the searing pain, I can only hope that I'd wake back up in heaven, wishing that it was all just a bad dream. But. That's when she showed up. I looked up and saw her looking over me. Her blonde hair was almost like sunlight. <laughs> Charlie began to wrap me up and check to make sure I was fine. At that moment, my whole sense of reality was put into question. Why was she helping me? Was she a sinner? Did she know what I was, what I did? Looking back now, she was my savior in a way. I don't think I'd be alive if it wasn't for her. What happened next? She helped me up and brought me to safety. We began to talk and that's when she told me who she was. When I learned she was the princess of hell, I really thought I was dreaming. Demon royalty being this compassionate? Part of me thought this was a trick, but I just felt safe with her. I can't explain it. And through this interaction, affection blossomed. Yeah. The first time I began to have feelings for her, it felt awkward. But I eventually embraced it. Now it feels natural. I've been happy and comfortable ever since. And I couldn't see myself being with anyone else. How nice to hear. But did you feel any guilt hiding the truth from her? Well, yeah, always. But I couldn't bring myself to tell her. 
especially after she told me her dream of rehabilitating sinners. I had killed so many of her people. I hated myself for the longest time. Hmm. Perhaps... What? Did you keep your origins a secret from Charlie because you wanted to protect her or yourself? What do you mean? Why didn't you tell Charlie who you were the moment she began to help you? Were you afraid she'd stop and abandon you? Charlie would never do something like that. So why the secrets? I was going through a life-changing event. If you were in my position, dying in an alley, and a stranger whose people you slaughtered began to help you, would you immediately look them in the eyes and say that you ended the lives of their people in cold blood? I felt guilt the moment I began to receive that help. I'll admit it, but it was overshadowed by feelings of gratitude and knowledge that I'd be alright. Maybe I could have said something after, but what's done is done. Charlie knows who I am now, and she still cares about me. Compassion is... educational. Thank you for sharing. I have a few more questions, but they won't be as heavy. Go ahead. What was life in heaven like, before you ended up down here? For an exorcist, it was brutal. Top of the line training, conditioning, everything to make the perfect machines for cleansing hell of its population. Militaristic isn't enough to describe it all. It was practically brainwashing. Using all sorts of resources to perfect us. Some of us reveled in that sort of thing. Others, not so much. But we followed orders and did as we were told. It's what our whole purpose was. Interesting. Does it bother you to think about it? Not really. But I do still have some qualities they permanently burned into me. I doubt I'll ever shake them. They've sort of become part of me. I understand what you mean. You've repurposed all your training and former aggression into Charlie's goal now, yes? Affirmative. It's almost like a twist of fate. Now, here's something I've been thinking about for a while. Do you support Charlie's idea of redemption because you love and support her? Or because you also truly believe redemption is possible? Both. I believe Charlie and think she's right. I'm sure we'll have a breakthrough at some point. You sounded unsure. For redemption working? I mean, it has to. There has to be something. Anything. Hell can't be forever. Some would disagree. Now, I had one last question prepared for you, but I'm feeling generous tonight. Because you complied with me, answered with such detail, and gave me plenty of information to review, I want to reward you. Okay? You may ask me one question, and I have to answer truthfully and clearly. Nothing is off limits. Choose wisely. Give me a second. So many things you can find out. Even just the power of one question where the answer is a guaranteed truth is so powerful. It's almost too much to think about, no? Which mystery do you want solved? What answer will help you sleep better at Can night? Can I hold on to this? Excuse me? Can I ask you this question later? When I've had more time to think. <laughs> I don't see why not. So that's it? We're done? Yes, we are. And as per your request, I shall leave immediately. When can I- Ask your question? You may contact me through my subordinates, or simply pay me a visit at my office. I'll be waiting. Right then. And if I may, I encourage you to be creative with this privilege I've given you. Make it count. I will. Excellent. Well, good night.